Hi everybody, it's Opulent Spiritual with another reading. So this reading is going to be for the new moon, which I'm currently filming this on the new moon, the super moon on Pisces. Let me see. And today is the 10th. This is real time. I'm uploading this in real time. And we are going to get started. I'm feeling very peaceful. So it's early. It's 836. That could be significant. I'm also going to say other things that are going on. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to, there's, there's a lot of stuff hap happening. Okay. Okay. First thing I want to say is thank you guys for watching my videos and supporting me. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos and like just being here with me. You know, this means so much to me, like so much. And just thank you for being here, for real. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, what I want to say is you can't see the candle, but it's it's here. It's right here. But maybe you're not supposed to see it. I don't know. Maybe there's something that you're not supposed to see. Right? Okay. I'm very excited because I got a few more cups yesterday. I went to uh, state sales with my parents and they, you know, we decided to hang out together. Um, they came by and I was like, all right, let's go to this estate sale. And this house was so beautiful right? Um, it was the first one we went to. Always the first one is always the best, but this house was huge. And, you know, I wasn't looking for anything like that, but I saw this cup and three others in this house. And they're, it's the, these cups are so beautiful, so magical. Um, and I also got a plate, a Lennox plate, Lennox, you know, like they don't make that anymore. And um, it's actually has angels on it, you know. I want to see, let me see if I could show you guys. Hold on, let me take this down here. Look. Let me show you something. That's the plate. Isn't it like beyond beautiful? And it has like time on it, you know, like going like this. And it's significant. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, but it's so beautiful. Right? Okay. So let's go back. <laughs> From outer space. Na, 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 na. Look upon your face. I should have changed those stupid locks. Na, 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 na. All right. <laughs> Let me uh, out a little bit here. Okay. So um, I got that plate, and it's so weird because this is um, the time changed last night. I believe it was exactly at 12. Yeah, the time change. Well, yeah, that's what it was. But I don't know. There's, I don't know. I, I know that's like obvious, but I don't know why I just said that. But anyways, whatever. It was like weird because I kind of forgot for a second this morning. Like we always do, right? Everybody always does this. Let me get my tea. Because it's a little, a little talking here my tea and my mug says um you can't see it but it says a friend a good friend is a friend forever 1984 <laughs> so this is a vintage cup that i got in a state sale well a while ago but there's a mouse with a butterfly on its nose so the butterfly the mouse you know they're like best friends here a good friend is a friend forever. So I feel like you could be meeting a like a, a really good friend soon. And it might be a friend that you're going to have 
for a long time. And this is going to come at a time when you're going through transformation because the butterfly represents transformation, renewal, something new. Something very important here with that. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, I'm just very excited. I don't know what's going on. So if you don't want to watch this part, you could skip it. <laughs> but I feel like it's very important to talk about these things. But anyways, I went in this house and I got these cups along with other things and that plate which was beautiful. But there's something with time here. It's it's almost time. We're going through a portal now. Okay? Especially going into April. This is big. This is really big. And um I got this book as well. The Book of Tao. Key to the Mastery of Life. I got this at the same house. And um, it wanted to show up in this reading. So I'm going to just open a page and we'll see what it says. All right, here's the page. I'm going to read it. All right, we got number 45. Eloquent. Seems awkward. Movement overcomes coldness. Stillness overcomes heat. The serene and passive are guides for all. Wow. What is not moving is easily held. What has not happened is easily planned. What is brittle is easily broken. What is tiny is easily dispersed. Deal with a problem before it arises. Exercise control before confusion exists. A tree with an arm girth of trunk grows from a tiny sprout. A nine-story terrain terrace arises from a heap of dirt. A thousand-mile journey begins with the first step. Wow, that's very significant. Action spoils, reaching losses. The truly wise are not active. Thus, they do not spoil things. Do not reach, so do not loss. Wow, that's listen to that. Do not reach, so do not loss. Things are often spoiled very close to completion. Oh my gosh, bro. Are you listening to this? And number 39 is significant. That's very significant. Um, that whole passage. So now we're going to get into the cup. Um Thank you for still listening if you're still here. <laughs> so the first thing I want to say, when I looked at the water in this cup, um, there was a number eight in the water. Okay. It was very frothy. And it's telling me that there's something. It, it's like a, a, a confusion here. But with the eight, it's, it's giving me like the eight of wands. So out of the fluffy confusion of the cloud because it started like disappearing as I started moving the cup around right you're gonna receive this this eight of wands this communication this is what's happening it's something that's gonna reveal something to you now with this new moon so number eight is year of the go and also leo energy as well so it could be coming from a leo or it could be coming from someone year of the goat or you could be hearing from this in like eight days from now, eight hours, you know, very soon here. So here's the cup. It's very beautiful. The first cup, the new cup. Okay, here's the plate. It's very beautiful. And this is made in occupied Japan. That's the seal here, diamond here. So how beautiful is the cup? Hmm. On the outside, we have a tear. And I want to say islands here. There's like islands here. And I'm hearing island hopping. So you could be island hopping, traveling and just island hopping through something here. I'm seeing angel wings. So you're being divinely guided here and protected letter p letter l there's also a kite here as well 
So something very lighthearted, very free, free-spirited. You're going to be free like the kite, right? It's going to be in the sky. There's something with vacation here. You're definitely going to be taking a vacation soon. I'm seeing the element of water here and air. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's something with those seasons that are going to be significant to this cup or, or your energy is embodying that. There's definitely a trip where you're going to be going very far here, high up. So it could be in a plane, flying, something with October here. You hear the bird, that's confirmation. <laughs> the birds are singing. There's definitely communication coming here. Letter P. And as I said that, a drop fell from the cup. It's going to be happening very soon. You're going to hear about this very soon. Yeah, and they're saying pay attention to this cup. They're saying pay attention here. Year of the rat. Okay, year of the tiger. There's a connection here. There's a gift being given here. There's a gift being given. Hmm. There's a compass. And there's a Taurus right here. Capricorn. Year of the Ox. There's a there's a gift here. Hmm. Being given. And I'm seeing that thing that they use to like map stuff out on like a map, like I don't know what it's called. It's like a tool. I'm seeing that. It's like really getting the measurements right here. Year of the dog, Scorpio energy. There's something, year of the dragon is here, big time. It's now, it's here. There's a cycle closing and there's a number five here. May is significant, year of the dragon. Letter C. So there's a journey well traveled alone. Letter K, year of the horse. There's a journey traveled alone. You're coming into a big amount of money. This is a solo thing. This is something where you're being gifted this through the universe and God. It's not going to be something you can actually understand. This is a big about amount of money here. <laughs> like big amount of money. And the bird is coming to bring you clarity. It's bringing you this. I'm hearing your voice is heard. And I'm hearing a pinch of good luck here. A pinch of good luck. You're meditating. You're contemplating on this mountain. And spirit's coming to bring you this, this closure. You will know very soon the truth. And what you need to hear is coming. And I'm seeing number five again here. Change. This is a big change. This is a massive change in your life. Massive. Like, you, you're not even going to believe how different your life's going to be, like, five months from now. I'm hearing this could have took five years for this to change. I'm seeing number 11 here. Year of the dog. Scorpio. Letter U. And number three. Year of the tiger. There's burdens here. There's also a fairy here as well. Fairy is blessing you here. Number seven. Cancer. Year of the horse. Hmm. I'm hearing train. Thir thir 333. 33 is here. 333 I'm seeing. On the bottom. 333. Three, three five again wow you could be getting training or going through some kind of training or you're going on a train of something but i heard train training year of the pig is here year of the ox year of the tiger number 11 again so 11 could represent 11 days from now 
11 days could be significant. Because 11's coming up, number five, it could be five days from now. Pay attention to like the 11th, the 5th, the 3rd. We have year of the goat here. Letter A is right there. Letter J. I'm hearing you're being watched at work in a positive way. So you're definitely being watched by your boss or there's something um, about your work environment changing. Something's changing in, in a way that it's going to benefit you. There's a pair here. There's a pair here, but this pair has uh, a face on it. Hmm. I'm hearing watch who you trust. There's something with the pair. Hmm. People don't usually reach for pairs. I'm drinking some tea. People don't usually reach for pairs, right? They reach for the standard apple, you know. When you go for a pair, it's something different, <laughs> right? You're like, oh, it's a pair. It tastes different. You know, it's it's a different texture. To me, I feel like it's more fibrous, right? It's 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 a different shape. There's something about you taking a different way. You're taking the odd way, 23, 52, 1, year of the rat, Capricorn, year of the snake is here as well. There's something about you choosing a different way. You're choosing a different way. You're not going the same way as everybody else. So you might be choosing a different opportunity here. Letter P is there. Hmm, 91, 89. Letter F, letter E. I'm sorry if you're in my stomach. Letter G, letter B. There's communication happening a lot very soon. And it's definitely Taurus here. So this new moon is bringing you something that's changing your path with your career, right? I'm not really seeing, yeah, Aries is like huge here. Look at that, look at the Aries symbol here. It's something where it's changing your your career, your, your lifestyle here. Something with your money big time is changing. I'm not seeing love in this cup. I'm seeing your career is changing money big time. Your Your money is changing here. So let's see. Yeah, this is like really coming towards you very quickly. It's like giant alligator here. You're, it's, yeah, because it was giving me like the, the Knight of Swords energy here. But this alligator, it's something that's very quiet. You know, they don't just go on something really quick. You know what I mean? It's something that they they wait till it's their time and then they attack. So there's something where you're you you need to be patient, but then you're you're gonna. It's like, but this alligator is about to snap. This is not something that's just floating here, because I I could see the legs like about to attack something here, and there's like a fish here. So you're about to grab that money. Letter L. You're about to grab that money here. Hmm. Okay. All right, let me see. What else here? 1919 is the angel number for you. Let's see. For my my beautiful people out here. Let's find out what else about this moon, this new moon here. The seven of cups. Yeah, many choices here. But some of them look, it's like what I just saw on the plate. This like I know this looks like a dragon or a snake, but it's something like that about to attack here. 
So it's like an opportunity that's going to, you know, it's right there, right in your face. I feel like that's the one you're going with in number seven here. Year of the horse. Freedom, right? This, this opportunity is going to make you feel free. 75, 57 here. Something that's going to release you from feeling abandoned, feeling sad, left out, left out in the cold here. Something's going to help you with your money, your finances. And you're going to be very clear on what to do. You're going to be very clear on the option that you're going to choose. You're not going to be confused. Look, two women here with the swords up. Air energy, a lot of air here. And I said that in the beginning of the cup. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, especially a Libra here is being very highlighted. That could be you or someone that you're dealing with. Celebration, number three. 35, 37, year of the tiger, year of the dragon, Taurus, Pisces. There's a celebration. There's a there's a gift here for you. And you have Leo. Here's that Leo energy or strength. You need strength. You need to stay in your power to accept this. And I'm hearing to avoid a collision here. So it's like to avoid like a problem. You know what I mean? Like be in your power. Like the ball's in your court. This new moon is making you stronger here. Like people are like, wow, they're not even going to recognize you because your power is so high here. Yeah, look at this, the sun. A lot of Leo energy here and renewal of rebirth here. Year of the horse. This is, this is like big time healing within. You're going to feel so much better. So a lot of you were struggling here. Yeah, you were trapped. Year of the goat, especially 83, 85, 87. Leo, again, you felt trapped, but it was your own self that was trapping you. Maybe you didn't want to go through this change. Maybe you felt like you weren't ready here. Look, all these cards came out. Yeah, the tower, but it's happening after a time of being sad and left out. 333. Three, three. 10. You're going to be getting that money, I'm telling you. It could be coming from this earth sign here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or this could be your energy where you're going to be financially stable and secure for generations here, like for a long time. Yeah, and you will get the truth. You will get clarity. It's coming to you very soon, and you're going to feel very balanced. I'm hearing healed, recovered here. The sun's rising. It's coming up now. You're leaving the past behind, and you're moving forward. This time frame here. 10 and seven. Yeah, major, major money's coming now. Your money's growing. You're receiving a lot of money after a big ending. So what 10, 10 here. Once you receive this ending, I mean, once this ending happens in your life, you know, this completion of a cycle, this, is, this was a karmatic cycle you were in, by the way. Yeah, and you manifested this. You manifested this. This big money, you manifested this and it's coming, okay? You're going to be receiving this very soon. I would say within the next seven days, seven weeks, July, so the summer, that's when a lot of you could be receiving this, seeing this money. Receiving this blessing. Yeah, that's what this uh, new moon's bringing you. Yeah, look, it came out now. And it came out with these cards that were not turned up, so I'm not going to take them. But yeah, they want they want you to tell they want to tell you that you manifested this, that you're the magician here. You're the one that's controlling your destiny now. Not anybody else, not anything else. You have a lot of repeating numbers here. 777, 333, 1010. These are angel numbers. This is what you're going to be seeing when you're coming very close to this, when you're about to receive this. 17, I'm seeing here as well. And yeah, underneath you have the ace of wands. It's it's going to give you exactly what you always wanted. You're going to feel motivated again, passionate. You're not going to be feeling like, oh, where's my life going? Like just at a pause, like waiting. It's none of that is happening now. You're going to actually have to defend what you believe in. And spirit saying, keep going. Don't give up. Yeah, you're going to know very soon. Something about the full moon here could be significant from this reading. We're in the new moon right now, but something maybe 
that you're manifesting right now in this new moon today. The seeds you're planting today. By the end of the month, maybe you're going to know something by the full moon. Let me know. Comment down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you to this beautiful cup. And uh, I want to see, do I see anything else once I poured the... Because sometimes I see things when I'm cleaning the cup. Yeah, number three is at the bottom here. Yeah, so three days, three weeks. March. When I like clean the cups when I'm done with the readings, I, I see things as well. And I'm like, oh, I should have showed that. So that wanted to be seen. But yeah, thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I will see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.